went to the bathroom and had to figure out the man was dead. But then she realized her boss is in the stall next to her. So Maggie throws a cigarette into the toilet and the whole thing catches on fire. No fucking way. What are you doing in here? Hey, that's my fucking coffee. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax, you guys. First of all, this is anything but coffee. And secondly, I'm here because head office hired me to run a pen test on your system. And good job, guys. You passed. Yeah. Hey, Ray. Hey, it's Tobias. Uh, yeah. Everything's solid here. Good. Okay, yeah, I'll tell him. She wants me to check your routers, too. Yeah. Yeah, okay, will do. Thanks. Bye now. Pencil pushers. What can you do, huh? Hey. Hey! Lil will know I'm here. I gotta move. I had high hopes for Bloom when I applied. I fell for the whole damn sales pitch. I knew we'd do something groundbreaking, but this thing was broken from the get-go. Now I'm too late. And the CTOS is too big. Damn it. Locked in. I'm gonna have to find a vulnerable system pronto. If I play it smart, I can trap some of these mouth breathers in their offices. Wait! Oh, there he is! There! <laughs> Bloom will know I'm here. I gotta move. I had high hopes for Bloom when I applied. I fell for the whole damn sales pitch. I knew we'd do something groundbreaking, but this thing was broken from the get-go. Now I'm too late. And the CTOS is too big. Damn it. Locked in. I'm gonna have to find a vulnerable system pronto. If I play it smart, I can trap some of these mouth breathers in their offices. Check the office. Yeah. All right. That's not normal. Holy <laughs> oh, shit. Five bucks for an autograph, asshole.
Damn, is there a security convention in town? I've never seen so many guards. What? What's going on? Raymond Kenny. No fucking way. That's what they're claiming. You know my dad used to work. Huh? Hey! safe in here for now, but I'm gonna have to find a vulnerability pronto. She wrote, time to bail. Well, shit. All that just for little old me?
CTOS. Experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. Doors opening. Pivo, what's up? Aiden, I just want to let you know I'm done. Well, it's about time. Do you have an escape plan? I just dumped a false trail in the new system. Over the next two weeks, they're gonna see me pop up in Wichita, Amarillo, Tucson. I'll drop off their map somewhere in Mexico. Well, you head in the other direction. Hey, I've got a one-way cruise out of Miami. If things ever pop down, I'll find a way to contact you. But... You take care of yourself, Timo. Stay out of trouble this time. Oh, I intend to. Adios, amigo. Adios.
<sighs> Honey, I'm home. First rule of survival, always use the back door. Or is it never make a copy of the key? You ain't pretty, you ain't cozy, and you're sure as shit ain't home. But you were there for me when I needed you, baby. <clears throat> Need to wake up my guard dogs. At least be the one who made them. I gotta burn these hard drives in the morning. Well, I never got to use these. I guess it's better to be an unfulfilled paranoid than a dead one. Last night in the rabbit hole. Oh, I should get some shut eye. you no just fuck off go away all right all right it's been 10 years Frewer. This had better be good. Ray, send the police. No, wait. Don't send the police. They may be here. Can you find me? Calm down. This is another one of your episodes. My episodes? Ray, they're gonna kill me. Do you understand? They who? I don't know. They. They hit me with something. I, I must have blacked out. I, I think maybe I'm in a trunk. I'm definitely in a trunk, right? Can you track me? Not very well. Your GPS signal's cutting in and out. Oh, of course. Oh, they're jamming it. Oh, this is bad. Like, fixer bad. Fuck. All right, I'm on my way. Sounds like Fruer is in real danger here. But if I'm gonna get out of Chicago, it needs to be now. Fuck. I can't just leave him. Calm the fuck down. Now, feel around the latch for a trunk release. If it's a newer car, it'll have one. Uh, no, nothing. All right, so we know we're in an old car. It's a start. Old car? No, that is not a start. Maybe they removed the trunk latch. You got any tools back there with you? Check for a compartment. There might be a jack in it. Yeah. Yeah, there's a jack. I think I can pop the lid with one of these. That's the idea, but we don't want them to hear it pop. So I want you to bang around a lot when you do it. You shout, too. Hmm? Okay. Here it goes. Hey! Hey, let me out of here! Help! Help! It's open. It worked. Just crack the lid. Tell me what you see. I see construction workers on the road. This is Chicago. That could be anywhere. Oh! Road cones! I see a lot of road cones. Road cone? Road cone? Buildings for businesses. What do you see? Oh, that's... Uh, no, no, I don't know what that is. Come on, man. There's a half-demolished apartment building. It looks like housing projects. Sounds like you're in the wards. Good. Through it. Anything else? Just a lot of buildings, right? Do they say anything? I 
see you. Okay, I need you to keep that trunk closed. Brace yourself. Oh, wait. But brace myself? Why brace myself? Your ride's about to get bumpy. Ray? Don't! probably still blames me for all his problems. Jesus, Ray. He'd really zap me. Says the lunatic with the tire iron. I'm not a lunatic. So you gonna tell me what you did to piss off the fixers? Me? <laughs> this is on you. I'm still running from your mess. I have been ever since you and Rose decided to blow whistles at Bloom. I had a good life, Ray. You sure fooled me. We had to walk around on eggshells because you were such a headcase. <laughs> well, Rose is dead now. And your little tantrum in 2003. How many people died? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm the headcase. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't... I, I... You know what? Thanks for the rescue. But I need to go. Eleven. Eleven people died. Lindsay Garcia. Jeremy Connors. You want more? Because I can list them all for you. If you run, Bloom will find you. I know, because I'm the one who wrote the goddamn code that'll help him to do it. Now, I can get you out. But I need to hit Bloom again. Find out what the hell they know. You can stay in my place. Just don't touch my stuff. 
Don't monkey with my system. And don't make any noise. Yeah. I'll try to control myself. And most importantly, do not touch any of my beer. I don't drink. Of course you don't. Wasn't planning on sticking around. I need to make a call. Detective Billing speaking. Sheila. Mystery man, is that you? I assumed you were dead. Did you miss me? Nope. I love the growing tower of crime reports on my desk. Please tell me that's why you called. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm running low on cash. And supplies. Well, there's plenty to do. Every gangbanger, goon, and gorilla's out there fighting for a piece of the cake now that Lecky Quinn and Iraq are dead. And I'm running out of people to trust within the department. Just point me in the right direction and I'll do the dirty work. For a fee. Taxpayer money, keeping the thugs off the streets. Ain't it beautiful when the system works, sweetheart? <laughs> you are bad. Hold on, I'll send you what I've got. Let me check my map. I've marked one of the groups for you. The Chicago South Club. Now spearheaded by Quinn's baby boy. All right. Some of these will be one-time targets of opportunity, and some of them will be done to send a message. Hit those once a day, so they know we're watching. Just remember, if you get caught... Never heard of you. Good. Give me a call before you go in. <laughs> 